afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. And got another nice little travel trailer we're going to review today. Kind of late, uh, just now getting to where I can actually do a video about 20 minutes before we close. But I'm going to stay over and get this one on for you. Neat little camper, 2017 Salem Cruise Light, 241 QBXL. It's a little 26 foot, 10 inch, 27 feet long camper. No slide. Uh, these are great little campers. They're affordable. It's only 12 9 They got everything you need, nothing you don't. Lightweight for the size, 4,300 pounds. And not bad at all. I sold one of these my best friend probably three or, about four or five years ago, I guess. By now, he works for the railroad. The spitting twin to this one. I think his might be a year or two older. And, um... Same floor plan, brand, all that. And he works for the railroad and travels from place to place. And he lives in his about six months out of the year and has for years. Tows it with a, he's got a, I got a, I guess, 14 or 15 model Toyota Tacoma four wheel drive six cylinder and he tows it just fine. Loves it. It's just him by himself. Uh, we know he's married, he's got a wife and kids at home, but, um, perfect for him it's been a great little camper i've always he's had just good service out of his i always like to point that out when uh, i the, the rare occasion i get one of these these are nice little campers i know they're nothing really high tech or anything really hard or complicated to use but they're just they're well built little just simple campers you know it was his first camper that's why he liked it wasn't anything real complicated to learn how to use and you know he might stay in one place for a week a few days or he might stay in one place for four or five months and it's just perfect got a power on him he's got power stabilizer jacks power tongue jack no slide but it's got a just a classic uh, front queen rear bedroom floor or rear bathroom floor plan this would be ideal for somebody doing a job like he does. You just want something lightweight. That's something that you can, uh, that's easy to tow around. Something that you can stay in while you're on the job. Something you can camp in for a, a couple or a small family. Got notice the outside speakers. I like the LED lights. One good thing about shooting this late in the evening, you can see the outside lights really well. Let's look inside. Like I said, it's a spitting image of his. Front queen bed. Uh, Queen Island bed LED lights in here so I'm, I'm just running on a, a jump box right now but it'll run for a long time off that got a television up here in the bedroom you got a privacy curtain to separate the sleeping quarters from the rest of the camper no carpet so really easy to keep clean you've got a forward or rear facing sleeper sofa so this will fold down make a bed you've got a table booth that makes a bed. You can add, you can add a TV there if you want to, or move the bedroom TV to right there. You can actually put a 32 inch right there. That's what he put in his. I helped him uh, put it up there when he bought it. Um, got a CD stereo, roof air, and a nice size bathroom. Like I said, this is an ideal couples model. That wants something that is big enough you two people can be comfortable in, but not so heavy that you have to have a big vehicle to tow it. You got a two-way RV refrigerator freezer. Runs off propane or electric. Little drop-down freezer. Little three-burner stove top. Microwave. Got a uh, ducted furnace, propane furnace. Like I said, a really nice size bathroom for this size camper. You got a stand up corner shower with a glass surround. You got a skylight, toilet, and a nice little bed, a nice little sink and, and vanity area. So, nothing fancy, nothing complicated. Just a nice little dependable camper. Like I said, Everything you need, nothing you don't. You know, nice thing about it. Power stabilizers, power tongue jack. 
power awning so that you know the heavy the, the complicated stuff you just push a button for it's got a DSI water heater you push a button your water heater lights be a great first-timer camper you know especially if you don't want to invest a lot of money it's only twelve thousand nine hundred dollars which in the world of travel trailers is a very very reasonable price and it's a well-built little camper for what it is You know, roof looked good, as you can see from the uh, roof shot that I started out the video with. And, um, this is not bad, guys. Not bad at all. $12,900 while it lasts. Includes our major systems inspection, which includes uh, us inspecting and guaranteeing the following systems, and only the following systems, for the 12 9 price. And that includes... The uh, roof air conditioner includes the tongue jack, of course, and the steps. Includes the water system to make sure the water system, there's no leaks. We check your water pump, make sure the water pressure is correct. Uh, we check your water heater, make sure it gets the operating temperature. And make sure water, hot water goes to everywhere it's supposed to. We check your refrigerator and freezer on both modes of operation, gas and electric. We check your propane system, make sure there's no propane leaks anywhere. And uh, all that's included for the 12.9 price. And these folks that just traded this in were just using it, so I seriously doubt you're going to find much of anything wrong with it. And of course, everything else is sold as is, so it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So you know, you, we give you uh, you need to do one or two things or both. You need to either come look at the RV yourself in person, make sure it's going to fit your needs, look, walk through it in person, judge the condition for yourself, even though the condition. For the price and the year model, I think is 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 nice. I think it's a solid eight and a half out of ten, maybe even a nine out of ten. I think it's a really clean for what the camper is. It's been used, yes, but not been used a lot. Definitely not been a live-in model. Um, comfortable. Feel like I'm in my buddy's camper. <laughs> Make myself comfortable, huh? <laughs> But like it's perfect, a couple's camper, or it can sleep up to five or six people if you got family or something like that. So it's uh, um, like I said, it is what it is, guys. No slide out, nothing real complicated to use. Less stuff you got to worry about, you know, failing on you later on. Um, just real easy, simple, comfortable camper to use and to own. Something that you know, if you only use it once or twice a year, it's. It's, it's nice having around. And, um, of course, like I said, you, uh, you want to come look at the RV for yourself. Make sure the camper fits your needs. Make sure you step through it. Make sure you fit through it. Make sure you sit on the couch, the table booth, lay down on the bed, stand up in the shower. You know, sit down on the toilet with your pants on, please. And make sure all that fits you. Uh, going to fit everybody that's going, if whoever's going with you or if anybody's going with you at all, make sure it's going to fit them. Uh, all your luggage and stuff like that, you know, that's why nothing beats actually coming in person looking at it And I know not everybody can do that But if you can guys we we do we do prefer that you any prospective buyer comes looks at these things in person And I know we sell a couple hundred of these things a year to people we never even meet and I get that I appreciate the trust that Folks like that put in us and we and we do our best to earn that trust but uh, these are used RVs, guys. Are not going, none of them are going to be perfect. We never advertise new used RVs. Nobody does. But, you know, I do um, wish, you know, if you can come look at it. And while you're here, if you like what you see and it looks like it's going to fit the bill, go ahead and do your own inspection on it. We'll hook, a, uh, we'll hook shore power to it or run it to a bigger generator so you can see what works on it, what doesn't. And remember, we do inspect. We do the major systems inspection. So you know that after purchase, we are going to guarantee the refrigerator, freezer, the air conditioner. We're going to guarantee the plumbing systems, the propane systems, the front jack, the steps. The stuff that can severely, um, not can, can ruin your trip or severely hinder it. You know, if there's any kind of Mickey Mouse stuff in here for repairs, we let the next buyer deal with that. We concentrate on keeping our prices down 
uh, since you can afford to buy it and we and by keeping our prices down we just do the major systems inspection like if for instance a light didn't work which so far every light in this thing works let's just say that this light right here didn't work it'd be up to you to fix it or not fix it that's not going to ruin your trip or let's just say a drawer didn't uh, open it was off track you have to replace a track or something like that that's going to be up to you to fix it or not fix it that's not going to ruin your trip or your countertop extender didn't extend that's, again that's not going to ruin your trip that'd be up to you to fix it or not fix it or a blind didn't work or any you know what I mean any number of any Mickey Mouse things didn't work on it that's why you need to come look at it, inspect it for yourself and or hire a third-party RV inspector guys I, I, I recommend anybody buying a used or even a brand new RV get an independent unbiased third-party inspection plenty of RV inspectors out there you can just Google Chattanooga Tennessee RV inspectors and take a pick that way you kind of get an idea what you're getting into before you have to get into it or before you're obligated to get into it I'm just being straight up honest with you guys it's a used vehicle it's a used camper it is what it is you know it's less than half price what it costs new and um, so like I said it's not going to be perfect but it's in very very nice shape for the price in the year model but that's my opinion come look at it for yourself form your own opinion Anyway, uh, financing is available with approved credit. Now, we do offer uh, local delivery service or semi-local delivery service, you know, within two or 300 miles. Uh, we can do it pretty reasonably. Now, if you need a longer distance than that or you need full service delivery, all my guys do is pretty much drop it and go. They don't do setups. They don't do leveling up. They don't do uh, on-site RV education or anything like that. However, if you need full service setup or you need a long distance setup or a long distance delivery or both, uh, we can put you through with our good friends at Nuga Transport. Uh, we, you can look them up on the internet or we can give you their website or phone numbers or both. And you can, call, you can contact them. You can do an online quote. They'll call you right back. You can explain to them what services you need. They do full service delivery and uh, they can take care of you they got the properly licensed drivers the proper insurance um man these guys are professionals and they can do so much more than just deliver a camper too i mean they can level it up set it up for you professionally they can um give you an on-site education about how to operate it things that my drivers can't do so if you want that particular kind of service we can put you in touch with them and you can contact them, get a quote and get all that set up with them. And then once you, once you're uh, got your delivery set up with them, we'll just contact you and them when it's ready to be picked up. Once it's paid for, of course. <laughs> and, um, you got your nice camper. Anyway, guys, um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Smash me a thumbs up. Sorry for the late video. And uh, hit that subscribe button. I've got tomorrow Saturday. I'm gonna try to do some more videos tomorrow. Probably have a pretty busy day if it's not if we don't get rained out. But I'll do my best to post some. So got some more motorhomes coming up. But thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. I also forgot to mention we take trade-ins and we have financing available with approved credit. Thanks for watching. Look forward to see you soon in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.